6th grade, module 1, lesson 1, classwork. So the first few examples of the classwork, or exercise 1, needs to be done in class because it talks about the ratio of boys to girls in your class, and everyone's class is different, so that's not something that we could work through together. But we can start on exercise 2. It says, using words, describe a ratio that represents each ratio below. So 1 to 12 is A. We need to think of something that would have a ratio of 1 to 12. And when I think of 1 and 12, it reminds me of the months in a year. So I would say for every... one year there are 12 months now the next one b is 12 to 1 so we could just flip that if we wanted to so i'll say for every 12 months there is one year C says 2 to 5. So let's think of something that could have a 2 to 5 ratio. Um, I'm going to think about maybe cats and dogs. I'll say for every two cats in our neighborhood, there are five dogs. You can think of a different example. Or maybe you think there are more dog cats than dogs in your neighborhood. You could flip it. For D, we could just flip that, but I'm going to come up with a different example. So 5 to 2, let's say right now you're working on your homework, um, maybe, or maybe this is just an extension of your classwork. Maybe for every five minutes you spend working on your homework, you finish two problems. So I'll say for every five minutes... I spend on homework, I finish two problems. And E, 10 to 2. So what's something that out of ratio have a ratio of 10 to 2? So I have 10 fingers and two hands. So let's say for every 10 fingers, there are two hands. Or you could say for every 10 toes, there are two feet. And one way to reverse it, so 2 to 10. So you could flip it and say for every 2 feet, there are 10 toes or 2 hands, there are 10 fingers, or we can think of a different one. Um, maybe I could say, maybe talk about the ratio of pants to t-shirts in my closet. I have so many t-shirts. Maybe you're like me and you just collect t-shirts from all the different events and activities that you're involved in, but I don't have nearly as many pairs of pants. So I'm going to say for every two pairs of pants, in my closet there are 10 t-shirts <laughs> 